Tonight, the bird flu is hitting hard here in the Midwest. Good evening, I'm Jennifer Griswold. And I'm Craig Negrelli. Nearly 4 million chickens will be destroyed. It is devastating for people who depend on the industry. New at 10, reporter Kelly Bartnick has local reaction. D. Maestrick knows these birds. They are heritage breeds and her livelihood. She knows the threats to them and says at least right now the bird flu in Iowa is not one. I have yet to have a wild goose or duck land in my pasture so that my birds would have access to the pathogen. The bird flu travels from place to place with waterfowl who migrate there. It's hit millions of birds at an Iowa egg laying facility, part of the second outbreak in the state this year. So it doesn't matter if you're in Iowa, if you're in California, or if you're right here in Omaha. As long as you have migratory waterfowl going from southern U.S. up north, you're going to have it either way. Nebraska 4-H Extension Assistant Brett Kreifels has fielded calls from concerned bird owners since Monday's outbreak. He says because it's isolated, right now there's no need to worry, in the yard or in the kitchen. As long as you cook it properly, you're not going to have any problem whatsoever with contracting avian influenza or any common bacteria like uh, salmonella or E. coli or any other viruses. Back at Maestrix Glenwood, Iowa farm, she says she's gotten calls too and she is watching. If it got to Mills County and it was a smaller farm operation instead of a big factory farm, um, then yeah, then I would be concerned. But right now the signs point to a peaceful day in the pasture. Kelly Bartnick reporting. Here's a look at where bird flu has spread. It has affected at least a dozen states so far. You see that in the red. Health experts insist the outbreak is not a big threat to humans.